Are you tired that anytime you go on Instagram, you just spend so much time watching stories, but instead of replying to your friend, you are just watching 10 posts and it's every time that you use Instagram. The same thing happens with WhatsApp or Telegram. And you're just tired of this. You would like to have just one application where you can handle all your chats without having to watch stories or posts. Well, I have a solution for you because in today's video, we will see how to install a server with Matrix which will enable to see all your messaging in one application. You can see your messenger messages, Instagram messages, Telegram messages and other apps inside this one application and it's really easy to use. So if you're interested, please watch the next tutorial. So first we will go on GitHub where we will install a matrix server. So it's really easy using this project. So, so it will use Ansible and Docker on Sibyl, which is a process to automatize some uh, commands. So the first thing we will do is copy paste. So on uh, clicking on code, copy paste GitHub project and in the terminal we will paste. So git clone on the URL to the GitHub project. Then we will... Then we will open it on our favorite IDE. So in my case, it's WebStorm. Next, what we need is to install. So in the process, so we go to installation, prerequisites. So we can see that what we need is a server with a OS, uh, for instance, Debian or Ubuntu. So for me, I will use uh, OVH to host my server. It's like AWS, but it's cheaper in French. So I connect here because I already have an account. And once I'm connected, I go to public cloud and I will create an instance. So my server matrix, you have to uh, add your credit card to be able to pay. And then it is creating the project. Next, I will create an instance. I will take the cheapest one to so in 10 bucks. This one is for you, 29 cents. So it's the cheapest one. I can choose any location. So I will use it in France. Then I use Debian 12, so the latest Debian. Then you need to add your SSH key like I did. I will not add the automatic backup because it's useless. And then uh, once our server is deployed, we need to make sure that we have root access to it. So we will connect to SSH to it, copy pasting this thing in the terminal. And yes, to accept the fingerprint. And now I can see that I have access to the server. So what we need to do is sudo su to make sure that we have uh, uh, sudo access, so it's working. Next, we need to install Python. So we will check that it's already installed. So Python 3, and we can see we have Python 3.11. Next, we need to install Ansible on our local computer. For me, I have a Mac, so I will just install it on Mac. So after a search on Google, I can find that I just need uh, to uh, copy paste this command. Next, we will install passlib, so pip3 install passlib in our terminal and it just finished. Then we need to get a uh, git, so you probably al already have this installed, but if you don't have it, you need to install it. And we will also install just, so doing boo install just on a Mac. And uh, next we need to have a HTTPS capable web server. So that is what we just deployed on OVH, but you can also use AWS. And later we need to configure the DNS, so we will see it in the next uh, chapter. And then we need to make sure that we have the TCP and UDP port open. So if you use a firewall for your computer, for your server, you will need to make sure that you open the correct ports. But I don't use a firewall in my case, but it can be a good idea for improved security. So now we will be configuring the DNS. So I bought my domain name on a uh, Namecheap, so which is one of the cheapest. So you go to the domain name to advance DNS, and then you will need to add a A record matrix. So here you go, A record. You can also add a C name that we will also need. You need to put the at for the host and the value, so matrix that your domain name. If we go, um, so on OVH, we can see the IP that we need to add on our DNS for the A record. 
and for the C name, so element, this is the two main uh, records that you need to add. The other one are not mandatory, but you will probably have to add some, like I did, uh, because for instance, a stats is really useful. And uh, if you want to see how your server is working, but again, it is not mandatory. Then once we configure the DNS, so we will have to check. Uh, you can also add a RCV record in case you want to um, enable the federation so that you can send messages to people on over matrix server. But in my case, I don't want to be my server connected to other servers, so I will not do it. And you can also add some other stuff for um, some email settings, but I will not do it. So now we will uh, configure our servers. So what we need to do on our machine is create the host uh, vars, and we will copy paste the, the file from the examples. And then we will edit it. And so what we need to edit, so when we go to our edit uh, to our configuration files, you need to put your uh, matrix domain, the type of server, so synapse, and you will need some a uh, password for home server generic secret key. And uh, you also need so these few things because I use the stat modules. But again, if you didn't use the stat module, so you don't need to add this. Then what we will need to do is also to copy paste the host file. In this file, you need to put your domain name, the IP address, and the name of the SSH user. So in my case, on the Debian server, it's Debian. Then we will install the new configuration. So copy pasting this line in the terminal. So, but just before this, you need to use the just host to be able to do this. So just roll, it, it worked, and then I will install it. So just here. It will take a few minutes to run. Then for the future, if you want to update the config file, so you will need to modify the vars.xml and just run the just install all. And then to finalize the installation, you need to make the federation work but in my case, I don't want it to work, so I will skip this part. And then, so check if the service works. So we will do it now. So we copy paste this command in the terminal. And you can see that I just have one error. So the error is because I didn't activate the federation, but every other service is working. So this is okay for now. And uh, then, so what we want to do is register a user. So at least one user, so we will copy paste this command. So just register uh, the username, password, and yes for admin. You can also enable the public registration. So putting this in the config file. But in my case, I don't want to uh, make it available. So I will not put it. But if you want, you just need to add this. So now we go to the element client. So we put the username and password, and we try to log in. So after singing, it should be working. So yeah, it's working now. And we try the same on the mobile app. So on iOS, you just go there, you put so the domain for the matrix that your domain name, you put user username, the password, and you try to log in. And as you can see, it's working. So now what we will do is uh, set up the additional services, so how to make it work with Instagram, Telegram, and other um, messaging apps. So first we will uh, see, so you can see, uh, to make them uh, working, we first need to set up the secret shell off. So we copy paste these comments in our config file, and here we will put a very strong secret. So for instance, this one, and then we will uh, start to set up, so for Telegram, we copy paste these three lines. We go on Telegram, we put our, our phone number, and once we logged in, we will just copy paste the value here in the config file. Once it's, it's done, we just go to the terminal and do just install all. So it will be configuring the stuff. Then on element, we send a message to 
at telegram bot uh, dot the domain name where we will send a login message so after the login it will bring us to a url so where we put our phone number password and the code we received by sms and now we can see that we already uh, logged in now for whatsapp we will copy paste this uh, line in the config file we will do just install all to uh, update the configuration we send a message so to uh, add whatsapp bot uh, the domain name and here we send a hello and then we send a login so we have to put the login then we have a QR code that we need to scan with our phone and it's working same thing for uh, Facebook now we copy paste this uh, line just install all and we send a message so to add Facebook bot and the domain name there we send a hello and then we send login and the email and the password and it should be working now as you can see the conversation that start to appear now we will do the same for Instagram so Instagram we copy paste this line we go to the config file and we will go to the terminal and just install all and here we send a direct message to Instagram bot at the domain name so we send a hello and we send a login with a username and password and we can see that we log in to Instagram so it's working Okay, so we just finished installing a matrix server. So it was really easy to do and I hope that you liked this video. And if you had any problems or questions, you can just put it in the comment below. And if you have any idea for a new video or something that you would like to know how to do, you can also put it in the comment. And I hope that you liked it and see you in the next video. Bye.